Hey. It's the NFL. The final weekend of the summer. Hope you're enjoying it wherever you are as we are off and running on EA Sports. This taken in right around the goal line. And they'll be backed up to start this drive as he's taken down right around the 15. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. And a look at a guy, definitely got a little razzle-dazzle to him. Can do it with his arm or his legs. They're mobile QB. I think the hope was to let him sit and learn for a bit, but he's thrown right into the fire in week one. Now we'll see what kind of lessons he's learned as he prepares for his second start in the NFL. The intended receiver there, Allen, that'll bring him second down. Ready? They're going to look to throw. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. You get a sense of what this game plan might be. They think they can take a few home run shots against this defense. They tried it there on the opening drive, but that ball's incomplete. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. That was their first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. 35 yards that time on the punt. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. So now we'll get a look at the other offensive unit as they come out for their first possession. They're led out by a man who's been around quite a while as a backup, an NFLer since 2009. It's Chase Daniel. Okay, I thought there was something to build on in last week's game by his performance. I thought he played fairly well overall. The numbers won't knock your socks off. Two touchdown passes and an interception. The bottom line, though, they lost. Yeah. How does he eliminate that one interception, continue to take care of the ball, and maybe increase the number of times he puts the ball in the end zone with a receiver? Oh, here's a fake on the jet sweep. And to give to Robinson. And he's going to get this one down near the 45-yard line. Two yards a game there. And now they're left with a third and about four for first. Here's Daniel. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. Great way to convert on third down there. 21 yards the play. On first and 10, it's Robinson. Bulldozes past him. And they work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. 11 more on that one and another first down. From the red zone now, Daniel. Oh, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. Well, the incompletion, but now we also have an injured player. Now a second and ten. Daniel looks to throw. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. Points one, two, and three in their defensive game plan was to get to the quarterback and knock the ball free. They did it there. Luckily, offense hangs on to it. Yeah, that's got to serve as a wake-up call, though, because they can't afford to let the ball go over to the defense and miss opportunities. And I'm not saying it happened here, but you know what a good rule of thumb is when a play like that occurs? You know who usually recovers it? The guy who missed his block and let his quarterback get hit. And his kick is indeed good, and that'll make it 3-0 here in the first. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take, punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. Back onto the field comes this offense ready for their second drive. Now, early on, you know, Charles, every game could be called a measuring stick game. But I think when it comes within your division like this, it's a measuring stick game with a little extra intrigue. I would agree with that, Taylor, because our division
transition games have a little extra to them. But I like where this game is situated because at this stage of the season, it has that little extra juice, but at the same time, it's not a make or break if this were, let's say, week 15, 16, somewhere about that there. 26 big yards on that one. It's another first down. Hand off now. It's Gray with it. And he maneuvers up the middle for three. And it's second down. Vision is so important for the man in the middle because his ability to, to, to look through all the clutter that's happening in front of him, diagnose a play, and then go make it and finish it, that's when the great ones know that they have the goods. Three yards on the pickup. That's going to set up an interesting third and about four to go. Well, at that rate, picking up three yards of carry, you and I both know that doesn't cut it in this league in trying to get first downs unless you're playing four down football. Then that's a whole different situation. But I don't think that's what they're trying to do here. Third and four, though, is still manageable. And he's going to be taken down right at the 10-yard line. And sometimes when you run a screen pass down in the red zone, it's really tough to create a lot of room to operate. The field's pretty condensed, but that was really well designed there, and they're able to pick up a first down. And he gets halfway home from the 10 to the 5 on a pickup of 5. Here's Gray on second down, and he'll get this one back to the 5-yard line, but no further than that. They'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. They'll need 5 on this play to move the sticks. They'll drop to throw. He's going to get this one out to his fullback. And he'll be stopped well short. Only two yards there, fourth and three. And now it looks like we're going to get a timeout here. We've got a man shaken up. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. Deneau's kick is good. So a long drive gets him down inside the five, but ultimately they settle for just the field goal. And I have to think that if maybe they were a yard closer, that would have made their decision tougher, and I think they likely would have gone for it. But in this situation, they just decided to take the three, and I think it was a smart move. Field goal's all we've had so far. 3-3 three, three now as the kick is away. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. Back onto the field comes this offense, ready for their second drive. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drop. They'll take it. Just I, I like the way you've you described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. Back to Robinson now on first down. And now off to the races down the right side. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. 55 yards rushing for him as he's got the afternoon off to a great start. Now some movement before the snap. And we'll hear from our referee for the first time this afternoon. That flag accepted and it backs the offense up a little bit. The false start backs him up five. First and 15. Back to throw. Daniel. And his throw here is incomplete. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. Shotgun snap for Daniel. Oh, you saw that one coming. It's intercepted. Thrown back across his body. He's to the 15. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. An excellent play there in CD on the pick six. And I think they, were they a nickel? Did they have an extra DB out there? Yeah, Brandon, I think they were in standard nickel, not the uh, Buffalo, as teams like to call it, meaning three safeties for big nickel. They just wanted to take away the quarterback's throwing lanes, and that's exactly what they did. It came through with a big-time pick six. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Orlando takes back over on offense. Now remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go-around. And sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better 
that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. Second down and a run by Robinson. Nifty move. There he goes, right side. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and ten as they've got things rolling on this drive. Now it's Daniel. It's caught on the right side by Robinson. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. And what a big time play there. 43 yards. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Robinson will get about halfway there as he takes this from the four down to the two. He'll get two out of that run, and it's going to bring up a second and goal. From the two now, second and goal. Robinson will take it in. Touchdown. Well, he finishes off the drive with a touchdown run, Charles. Remember, he also had a catch on this drive as well. And that's what running backs want to be in today's NFL, a complete back. Three down, stay on the field, run it, and catch it. And he gets it done. Extra point right down the middle. And we are even at 10 apiece. All level now at 10 apiece as the kick's away. Taking it about the one. Oh, a good return up past the 30. And all in all, a pretty solid return. Nearly got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34. Getting set to go again as we look at the back, heading onto the field again. Last week, a strong showing up over 100. Also, two trips to the end zone. It's the kind of week that if you said, listen, I'll let you have this type of a game each and every week, you'd sign up for it. You wouldn't try and get too greedy. But let's face it, good runners always want to be a little bit more greedy at the end, try and squeeze out every last yard. He's going to try and duplicate that and exceed it in this game. A first carry here for Kane Nwangu. And he'll muscle his way up to the 43 for a pickup of right around five. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Ready? Another run now for Nwangu. Boy, no chance as he was met and dropped behind the line there. Second quarter now, and it's our home team with possession as they've got it with a fourth down coming up. They'll try and throw for it here. And to find the open man, that's complete. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. First down, they'll run to Nwangu. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. So their task a little bit more difficult now. Second and 13 that they're walking up on. The throw over the middle, taken in. And he goes down, but not before getting his inside the 25. A gain of 28 yards there and getting the first down. the play fake he'll look to throw and it's knocked away and incomplete zone coverage there they were playing deep that makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys and that time there was not much of a window to get the ball in there and it winds up incomplete and he's brought down but he has it down to the 12 on a pickup of 12 first and 10 how many times do we say in this game is speed kills, and it does it in so many different ways. In this case, you got a back who's quick and shifty, can make moves, make people miss, but also gets to and through a hole before it can close down. That's some of the benefits of that speed, not just outrunning people in the secondary. That led to a really nice game. On second down, here's the Wongu. And the big boys up front, they're going to stop him right at the line. And this offense on third down today, they've only converted once in four tries. This will be third and six, and this won't do it. He needed six, he only got halfway there. 
Well, this was just simply excellent defense. On this third down, they had to be alert for the possibility of a pass, but that didn't stop them at all from understanding what was going on when they decided to run the football, and they just swarmed and stopped them for almost no game. They'll get neither the touchdown nor the first down, and this long drive is going to wind up yielding nothing. Now a handoff to start it out. Robinson. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. And that's frustrating for a defense because they've got them pinned down deep. And on the first play, they gave up a run that keeps an offense on schedule. Yeah, because three to four yards, that's all you're looking for right there, right? That's absolutely perfect, really, as a play call. You get three to four yards on first down. That's what they talk about to us all the time, about being ahead of the chains or on target, ahead of schedule. They were after that run. They go play action with Daniel. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And he's going to bring the fumble back for a touchdown. Second time he's lost a fumble. This one hurts more. It's returned for six. He's been under a lot of duress, hasn't he? Pressured, hurried, harassed the whole game. Well, the offensive line not giving him a lot of help. Not a lot of help, but the bottom line, he's got to take care of the football. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. Brian Robinson Jr. making his way back onto the field. And he's having himself a little bit of a banner game. His team right now, though, losing. Needs a little bit of help. And I kind of equate it to a basketball game where you have the big score. And sometimes your strategy is, OK, he can go ahead and have all of his points. Let's hold down everyone else. And that's the way you win the game. And right now, he needs everyone else to start scoring quote unquote as he's been yeah and he's hoping to keep it close so maybe they can keep it on the ground not start to go through the air as much under pressure and down goes Daniel and now it looks like we're going to get a timeout here we've got a man shaking up the medical staff will attend to him and we will step aside now throwing on third down there but he cannot connect well they came up with points in their first two possessions but it looks like they'll come up empty here on their third them a little bit. Might have to go a little bit deeper into their playbook on their next possession. Let's take it inside his own 40. It's a 42-yard punt, but eight on the return. And out will come the offense as they take over. Austin's offense ready to go again. A kind of a lucky break on the prior drive, Charles. The turnover on downs that the offense had didn't come back to bite them after the other side, their defense came through, was able to hold them without any points. I would agree with you, partner. A little bit of a lucky break oh, indeed, but you know what they'd say to us. No luck, just pure skill. We rose to the challenge, and we didn't permit a score. That's how we were. I'm kind of curious, Charles, if they might temper their aggressiveness now offensively if they get in that fourth down spot again. Yeah, one would think so. But maybe because they held him, they might go for it again. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's going to get this inside the 30. He's exceeded his receiving yards from a week ago, and we're still in the first half. It's a first down. Read option. This is great. And some determined running there as he'll pick his way down to the 12-yard line. 65 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here this first half. Working with the lead, trying to get to 2-0. Here's first and 10. And he dropped it about the 11 after only a yard. Second and nine. Now a first carry for their fullback. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. And that's why the fullback position was created. You just want a big, strong, powerful guy you can hand the ball to and pick up good yardage. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. And it's caught. Touchdown. Brian Edwards. His first touchdown here of the new campaign. And the Black Knights go up by two touchdowns. Gano the extra point. And the lead now up to 14. So that drives seven plays in length. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away.
And bulldozing his way through. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Brian Robinson Jr. making his way back onto the field. They're behind in the first half here, CD, but it's not through any fault of their running back. He's had a strong start to this one. And you're right about that, partner, because watching him play, you would think that his team is in the lead. He has been a lot of fun in this contest. Now let's see if they can actually make something happen, put more points on the board behind his efforts. Yeah, I'm curious to see, Charles, if they can play complimentary football and get that passing game going as well. Here's Daniel. Throw left side complete. That's Sanchez. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. And in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. Throwing on third down, Daniel. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. First target, first catch, and a first down. From the gun, here's Daniel. That one is slant to McLaurin. And down he goes at the 49, a three-yard pickup. From just across the midfield stripe, here's second down and seven. Straight ahead, it's Robinson. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Now they're going to be dealing with a third and seven as that one officially a loss of one. Two minutes remaining in this first half for football. Well, with the kind of half he's had, I think we can forgive him that run, right? Not every run's going to be a big play, is it? No, and also the blocking just wasn't there. No room to run. Yeah, defensively, they got to find a way to build on that because he's under pressure, and down goes Daniel. And while all of that was going on with a sack, it appears, unfortunately, we have an injured player. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. Taking it about the 16. A nice work on the return as he gets about 15 yards back. And they will take over first and 10. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. And he's well on his way to a 100-yard game. He's already more than halfway there. We're only in the second quarter. And what I've always loved about running backs is they'll tell you, I have no idea how many yards I have. Those guys have an innate sense of where they are in a ball game and how many yards they've accumulated because you know they're always working towards 100. He's been working well towards 100 here. And now they're in the hurry up. On third down, he'll drop to throw. And that is incomplete. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage. And just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. They're going to try and throw. That is caught. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. They'll look to throw here on first down. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Gray. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. Second and a couple. Again, he'll drop to throw. He finds his target, Allen. And he will have a first down here as they get into field goal range, down just shy of the 20. to throw again. Got a man, it's Darren Warner. And he's down inside the five at the four before he's out of bounds. A chance to really cap off a big first half here as they come up on first and goal. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And it's caught. Touchdown. Keenan Allen from four yards out. And the Black Knights will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Extra point try, good by Godot. And the lead now to three touchdowns in 21. Godot now following the touchdown here to kick it away. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. 
One final go for this offense here in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps to have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. Now another timeout called for by the offense as the clock will stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. Here's Daniel. In trouble, and he's taken down. So we re Sorry, Coach, put a pin in that. We are going to move right on to the third quarter here. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth, ready for quarter number three. So after a very one-sided first half, what will the second half bring as we are back underway on EA Sports? And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. But this offense ready to go to begin this third quarter. And you have to think, Charles, down three scores already. They need to play an almost perfect second half to have a solid chance. And that absolutely starts with finding some way to put together a touchdown drive here. They need to be smart, fast, efficient, get the ball to the end zone, and do it again multiple times in order to have a chance to win this game. Daniel on first down. Middle of the field, he's got McClure. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. Robinson up the middle. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Daniel now. Blitz coming and down he goes. Give the sack to Jerome Baker. So one quick easy analysis about why they've struggled so far. They keep putting themselves in third and long situations. They just took another sack right there. And the offensive film session tomorrow may be a little longer than it normally is. <laughs> Not a lot of positive grades will be handed out thus far. It's a gain of 11, but they're still well short. It's fourth down. Here's Tressway now as he's on here to punt it away. And this is going to be ruled out, I think, just inside the 20. Yes, it will. Side judge calls it at the 19-yard line. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. They'll start this drive out on the ground. Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. And quickly, they get to the line. Second and five. And this pass caught by Gray. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. They'll run it now with Gray. Down the numbers. There he goes. Inside the 10. And touchdown. Aaron Gray. His third rushing touchdown of the year. And the Black Knights are able to stretch out their lead. Gano the extra point, and that'll increase their lead to 28. So the drive there, they went 80 yards in three plays. And a pretty good run there in the end to top it off. And they will wrangle them down a couple yards shy of the 30. Orlando takes back over on offense. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail-biter in this one, CD. And if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here, maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. 
And in a league that we talk about every game being a one-score game as we go into it, watching this blow out, let's just say it's been unusual. Daniel looks to throw. And that will be incomplete. And you can tell just by looking at it that this offense is a frustrated unit. Things are really unraveling here. And as a head coach, time to earn your paycheck. You've got to find a way to keep it together as that brings up another fourth down. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. He's been a good workhorse. I know we use the word workhorse a lot, but he's been a good workhorse for him in this one. No doubt about it, and there's nothing wrong with that. That's what you're looking for if you're a back, because that means everything's coming together for you. Big guys up front have created space. You've run through it. You probably got some help even from the wide receivers who want to catch passes as opposed to block, but they're helping out too. Yeah, everyone's pitch again. He's had a good game. Now this one to his tight end out on the right side. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. First target, first catch, and a first down. First and 10 at the 47 yard line. They'll look to throw here. A short throw pulled in by Bellinger. And they're going to speed things up here. Here's a second and seven. His throw incomplete. Not his best throw there, but where we sit right now in the third quarter, he's had a pretty good game throwing the football. He certainly has, and it's not exactly at the point where we're doing four-minute offense yet, but they've got to think about, I'm not going to say milking the clock, but understanding clock management here on that. And he's going to be out of bounds down around the 35-yard line. Nice pick up there, 10 yards, and it'll move the sticks. So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. That ball caught by Campbell. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. They'll look to throw again. Now they set up the screen, that's complete. And all the way down inside the five to the four. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. On the run, this is Gray. And he'll take it into the end zone for a touchdown. Aaron Gray with his second touchdown of the game, fourth of the year. And the Black Knights have taken a five-touchdown lead. Extra point try, good by Godot. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. And he is out of bounds as they'll start up past the 30. Orlando takes back over on offense. Well, we're still in the third quarter, so there's some time to kind of clean this up and make it look more respectable now. A win, that's probably gone out the window, Charles. But I, I don't know. Do you look at this as a time to just improve and maybe start to look towards the future? I think you have to find something to play for, something to grasp onto until the clock runs out. But, Brandon, we've been around this game a long time. This is an outlier. You don't get many blowouts like this no matter how the game looks on paper going in. This one has turned out to be everyone's worst nightmare realized. They dial up the corner blitz that time, and it delivers to the tune of a nine-yard loss. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. Three yards, all they could muster there, and it'll bring up fourth down. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. And now the putter, Tress Way, as he sends this one away. And take it right on the 30. A nice return that time, gets 12 yards back. Getting set to go again as we look at the back, heading onto the field again. He's already hit pay dirt twice. He's up over 100 yards. He is feeling good. And he's just zipping along today. Everything coming together for him. It's that type of a day that you see a back 
Just got to have a grin on his face every time his number is called. Because he doesn't think there's going to be any large yardage plays. Nothing but big time positive runs. Taking the sideline grin as well. And the offense moving quickly to the line. They go play action here on first down. And oh, that nearly their first pick of the game. But it falls down to the ground incomplete. Here we go. Here we Here's go. second and ten. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Over the middle into traffic, and that's complete. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. They'll look to throw now on first down. Campbell making the catch. Second and ten. On the ground, it's Gray. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Ready, ready. They'll drop to throw. Catch made here by Campbell. And he's not going to sniff the first down here. He stopped at the 25. And now it looks like we're going to get a timeout here. We've got a man shaken up. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. The offense is going to stay out there. They've converted twice, Ready. failed once so far on fourth down. Let's see what's in store here. And Allen's got it. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Now Gray. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. He was brought down at the 13-yard line. They run again here with Gray. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. Here's third and three. Back to throw here. He'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. And now it looks like we're going to get a timeout here. We've got a man shaken up. Hopefully, obviously, nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. And he'll get this one back to the five-yard line, but no further than that. And they'll let the fullback try and take him home. It'll be a gain of five, and it's going to set up a third and goal. Brought down just shy of the goal line. Handoff now. It's Gray with it. And he is into the end zone for a touchdown. Eric Gray, a dynamo since the break. Three third quarter touchdowns. And the Black Knights get another third quarter touchdown to add on to that lead. Gano the extra point. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. And up to about the 26 yard line, just across the 25. Orlando takes back over on offense. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? You, well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He would love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. Looking for more there on first down, but this throw downfield, incomplete. A give to Robinson on the option. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. We'll see what they have drawn up here, a little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. Back now in Austin. And this is a blowout so far as we get set for the fourth quarter. A very one-sided affair. Throwing on third down, Daniel. And that is incomplete. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. 
No points allowed since the break. And you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. This is brought in at the 21. It'll be a 41-yard punt. Give him five on the return. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. I guess it kind of goes without saying at this point, but he's had a great game, as we like to say, a nose for the end zone, no doubt. Continues to find it throughout this game, and I'm sure he's got a nice place to live. He might want to make an offer in the end zone for a second home because that's what it's been like throughout this contest. He knows how to get there, and boy, he looks happy when he does. He's already bought all the property in the end zone. That's the problem. He's going to sell to himself now. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. That one, a gain of 20 and a first down. Now a handoff up the middle. It's Gray. And boy, the strength on display there as he rumbles through tacklers for a gain of about eight. And hold on here, because on that here last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. Well, the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. That will throw here to his running back, and he'll get nothing out of that one. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. Looking for Gray and finding him once again. And he is going to lose yardage here. A loss of a yard. He'll look to throw. And he is caught and brought down, but able to get it to the 30 yard line. This offense really looking polished these first couple of weeks. Here's first and 10. Again, he'll drop to throw. He's got Allen, and they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. Back to throw again. Now they go screen. It's complete. And a good game here of nine from the 19 down to the 10. Ball resting on the 10-yard line. It's second and one. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Forced out to his left. And the stop will come inside the five of the four. They're going to hurry back to the line now. And they'll try the option on first and goal. And he will take this one in for a touchdown. A great effort there. A four-yard touchdown scamper. And the Black Knights are on their way to a 2-0 start. Extra point try, good by Gano. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. Orlando takes back over on offense. Well, we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. A partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. They'll set up to run the quarterback draw. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. Patterson running between the tackles. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. 12 more yards there and another first down. Yeah, they really needed to get something going, didn't they? They had punted on the last two possessions. The running game starting to come to the front for them, providing a nice pickup there to keep this drive going. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. Well, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a skosh of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen. 
despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Leonard Williams able to drop him for a loss of two, and that will bring up fourth down. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. He'll return it from the six. It'll be a 44-yard punt. The return goes for eight. And the offense will come back out deep in their own territory. Austin's offense ready to go again. Well, they don't really need the points here, Charles, given what we're looking at on the scoreboard. But they've scored on three consecutive possessions, three consecutive drives. And I'm sure that they would like to keep that streak going here and continuing to pour it on. And things have gotten that way in the NFL, haven't they, partner? Because in the old days, people would, you know, they'd get off the gas a little bit, right? But now, people continue to accelerate. But we'll see what they decide to do as they come out with this one. But the way this game has gone, they've got to be awfully happy with their execution overall. An incomplete pass on second down. It muddles things a little bit here. This is third and ten. He's got his target. That's complete. Still going inside the 20. Touchdown! Keenan Allen with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Black Knights add another six points to what's going to be a blowout victory. Gano the extra point. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. Orlando takes back over on offense. And right now these guys, they're shuffling a little bit, maybe doubting because three straight drives have ended with him punting the football away. Yes, yeah, so you start pointing fingers at each other a little bit, asking a lot of questions. What are you seeing? What are you getting? Maybe trying to narrow down your playbook a little bit and maybe get simpler rather than more complex in order to try and fashion together a drive. On second down, a run with Patterson. And he'll take this up near the 35, maybe the 34. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Daniel on third down. That's out wide here for Robinson. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. First down, Wizards. They fake the give. Daniel slings this deep from McLaurin. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Jalen Ramsey. Still fighting for more. And a great return as he's up close to the 40-yard line. Well, this game was already decided, Charles, let's be honest. But now another feather in the cap of this defense as they pick him off for the second time. You're right about that. Things have been going pretty well for them, to put it mildly. But they're still out there hunting for big plays and get another one right there. Second and five. And he's going to be brought down here in the backfield. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. Looking to throw. And this pass caught by Gray. And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. They're going to look to throw. Going deep here for Allen. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. So they were really trying to put the nail in the coffin there already with this lead here in the fourth, but they didn't get it. Guaranteed. It's not going to be a fun handshake in the postgame, right? <laughs> you just know that there's going to be some bad blood there. And I know if we go to the postgame press conferences, the, the winning coach, you know what he's going to say, why he did it? We need the points, okay? Because you never know at the end of the year if points are going to come into the tiebreaker if we're trying to get into the playoffs. That's always the standard justification. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. Daniel going to throw on third and one. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. So out comes a field goal team now for the second time here today. He hit his first, this one from 38. 
And his kick is good. So the starting field position was terrific following the surprising turnover on downs, but the end result, only three points. Simply stated, I think you have to look at that as a missed opportunity. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This taken in right around the goal line. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. Austin's offense ready to go again. CD, I mean, they have just been scoring at will. It's been score after score after score. And a lot of times we use the term blowout for a lopsided ball game. And this has kind of gone past that. We're, I think we're in historic territory right now. You nailed it. Historic territory. Perfect phrase for what we are watching. If this were a movie, what kind of rating would we put on it? Who would you allow to watch what we're watching right now? Let's hope this one gets over fast because this game well decided a long time ago. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. They'll set up a throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. On first down, he'll drop to throw. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Partner, you and I have struggled with this for years. You've got the lead. Just take care of the football and burn some of that clock. But there's something to be said for not taking your foot off the gas as well, because you can never have too big of a cushion. That one, though, falls incomplete. And now they're in the hurry up. They'll look to throw. Able to find Gray here. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Up the middle they go. It's Gray. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. Second down and inches. Oh, it's intercepted. A drive killer there. And he's able to get it back to right around the 27. That's not one that he's going to want to remember, but he had to get it out of the way at some point, his first career interception. And if he's the guy that they think he is, he's not laughing it off, but he's also not going to let it affect him as the game proceeds. He's going to go back out there, still be the same confident kid, the reason that they drafted him, and go out and play. Daniel on first down. And his throw is going to be incomplete. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. Second and 10, Daniel again. That's going to be caught by Samuel. And he is down at the 48. A pickup of four that started at 148 yard line and ended at the other. Now a third and six. They go play action with Daniel. And this almost intercepted. Not sure he saw the free safety that time. But lucky, incomplete, that'll bring up fourth down. And the punt team on now as this one sent away. And no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds. Austin's offense ready to go again. Well, CD, you and I do a lot of games together, but it is pretty rare that we do a game of this margin. I mean, this has just been total domination from start until now, and I don't think they're going to take their foot off the gas at this point. Do you think that on the sideline, some jokester said to one of his teammates, maybe a few of them, hey, we're up 50. You think maybe that line was ended on the sideline? I can't believe what we're seeing here. An NFL game this laps up. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Well, their passing attack, even though that one was incomplete, has been really sharp in this one. It's resulted in a lot of touchdowns, and it looks like they're not going to stop throwing the football until the very end of this one. Well, that will certainly make everyone involved on offense pretty happy because that gives them all a chance to pad their stats a bit. But as far as the actual need, you and I both know they can just run this clock out because this one, it was over a long time ago. 
And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Up the middle, Nwangu. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of a yard. Now it looks like he'll throw here. And that one incomplete, but now a penalty flag coming in late. That might be P.I. Well, C.D., that helps the home team as they try to erase this deficit, give them the penalty for pass interference on the defense. Yeah, and they certainly haven't been happy with what they've seen so far, have they? They're certainly hoping that that call now might get the fans back into this one. And down inside the 15, Sean 